Amir well, there is no denying his status as one of the best flyweights in the world. His name is Amir Alvazi, fighting out of Iraq, coming off a big win over Kai Kata France in June of 2023. It was a split decision, and a lot of the media and fan base felt like Kai Kata France had won that fight. But the only scorecards that matter, two of the three gave it to Amir Albazi, and that set him up for a big fight against Brandon Moreno. And many believe this is as well-rounded a player as we have at 125 pounds. Could just be the first Iraqi champion in UFC history. Got to take care of business here tonight. All right, so here's the former UFC flyweight champion, the assassin baby, Brandon Moreno, first Mexican-born UFC champion, and remarkably made his pro debut all the way back in 2011 in Tijuana when he was 17 years of age. I mean, a baby. The guy was a baby, and still today, proven to be one of the best fighters in the world. He has a tremendous skill set, great grappling, great wrestling, great boxing, unbelievable cardio and that Mexican spirit, that fighting spirit that carries him through the tough times. I will stand out here on a limb and tell you, I did not expect this from Brandon Moreno. Yeah. But to see him overachieve has truly been something special. Let's see if he gets the job done tonight. And of course, as many of you know, he is now training in the United States of America. And that, of course, has led to some big results of late. Huge spot for the assassin baby Brandon Moreno here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Amir the Prince Abaje. And now we're introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the former UFC flyweight champion of the world, Brandon the Assassin Baby. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. All right, early round action here as we get a look at the former UFC flyweight champion, the assassin baby, Brandon Moreno. His evolution has been marked. It has been incredible. It has been off the charts when you think about his time on The Ultimate Fighter to his time as UFC flyweight champion. The jab, the chokes, the finishing instincts. One of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the game and ready to get back to it as he tries to ascend back to championship level status. Moreno's in half guard. Big ground and pound. Just because he got taken down doesn't mean he ain't gonna punch. Lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. Moreno's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks his efficient or big round of pop. Moreno's looking to pass out of the half guard here and get that side control, but he is denied by the opposition. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Darce choke is in here. That Darce choke is tight. 
Dar's choke locked in. It's only a matter of time. But he cannot rush. He's out of control. Oh, he escapes. He got out. Wow. That is great submission defense. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to hop. Oh, yeah. He's landing very accurately. And he's landing to get damage off. Oh, alpazi has got him in a crucifix. Gonna work from the top now. Making all these shots count. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's gotta start to protect it. Side control now. Working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Amir al Baz. Are right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Gonna try to take his opponent's back here, and he does. He has controlled the position, postured up, and landed another strike that is causing swell. Moreno's trying to get a triangle here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense has done a great job just making sure he leaves nothing long, no submission attempts. Even when they get him, he continues to stay calm and patient, and he's defending these, take these submissions. Moreno's eye is essentially swollen shut at this point in time, and I'm not sure there's any end swell in the building that's going to open that eye back up. They might stop this fight. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control in the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction, you throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. Moreno's in half goal. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. I mean, way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Al Bazi. This is where you don't want to be, though. Final seconds. Oh. Second round, straight ahead. All right, somewhat mercifully, that is the end of the round. The swelling around his eye is out of control. Cut man hustling in quickly, but I think they might stop this fight, DC. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much. And if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defenses. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, round two. Oh, he connects there. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, my goodness. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, nice right hand. Nice right hand. He's cut above the eye, and that blood figures to start to trickle down. Could compromise his vision here moving forward. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Let's move. Let's recompose. Stay focused. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Good shot. Good shot. Keep it up. Nasty high kick. How is he still standing?
This piece is just absurd. He has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. A kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Moreno. Wow. Three minutes now to go round two. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. A massive shot that he landed. Great job. He passed the half guard. Good work from the top here by the assassin baby, Brandon Moreno. Get the ball here. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's gonna lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets across, he will start to drop his chest to the mat and chase the finish. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Good movement on the ground here defensively by Al Bazi. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. Well, this is some serious pressure from the top by Brandon Moreno. Now he's going full mount. Massive shot from the top. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. In the half guard. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Moreno's looking to pass out of the half guard here, maybe looking for side control. He's denied. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Nice defense. Good work, I'll stand this up. You need to work. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by the assassin baby, Brandon Moreno. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going on. Oh, he got up. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. He's got to start throwing down. Moreno's in half guard, and the horn sounds on round two. All right, mercifully, that is it for the round, and Moreno's eye is really in rough shape at this point in time. Completely swollen shut. We'll see if the cut man can do anything about it, but I would not be surprised to see the doctor stop the fight here between rounds. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself Ready an opportunity. Fight. Ready. Third round underway. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, how about the switch kick 
to the body by Albazi. Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. That's Beautiful kick by there. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Stiff jab lands clean for Moreno. Oh, up, up in the left hand. Nice spinning attack there. Oh, how about that strike over the top? And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change, make him think he's going low and to fight over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great fight. Cable inches right there. Yeah. It was a good night if that landed. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strokes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Because right now, he seems lost to it. Moreno gets the takedown. Oh, watch QT here. Oh, that killing is tight. How in the world did he escape that submission? Lands with the ground and pound. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Wow, all things considered, pretty good shot from bottom position. Oh, good defense, yes. Back mount now. On his back now, he's going for the rear naked choke. Now it's tight, there it is. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Under a minute to go in the round. Strikes nicely here from top position. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Oh, he's got his back. Remaining active here in his pursuit of the submission. Another attempt here. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. Heading back to the corner now after that round. Moreno's eye is worse for wear. That's completely swollen shut at this point in time. You know the ringside physician is gonna come in and take a look, but you gotta think the vision, at least in that eye, is completely compromised at this point in time.
All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is <laughs> swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows right, right. that he has taken right. far too many. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Moreno's <laughs> strike attempt there is good. Nice left punch by this guy. Oh, he's in a world of trouble now. Try to establish that jab. Oh, and that kick is blocked. So the redness is omnipresent now. He is back to his feet. Nice job offensively as the strike lands clean. Useful. It's so clear that the guy that's going forward is the guy that's successful. All right, quick pause in the action here. Hopefully this won't be the end of the fight, but some serious swelling around that eye, and I'm not sure the extent to which his vision has been compromised. I don't know how much he can see right now. He seems to be trying to find the opponent, but his spirit isn't broken. Nah, it's gonna do it. Unfortunate end to the fight, but he's not gonna pass any vision tests with that eye. No, absolutely, and he's upset right now, but as time passes, he'll get over it and realize that he lives to fight another day. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight, declaring the winner by TKO, Amir the Prince Abbasi! All right, so no judges scorecards needed tonight. Well-rounded approach, and he takes the judges out of it with a finish. That's what you would expect. You'd expect the guy with the more well-rounded skill set